it's good to see all of you. I don't see you, but you see me. And hopefully there's more than one or two people. But anyway. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Okay, we're going to do some warm-ups. You know, like before you go swimming, or you warm up before you run. Most athletes warm up. Well, we're going to do some warm-ups. And I'm going to ask you to do something, and you do it. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air. Put your finger everywhere. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Now this is a tough one. Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. Stick out your tongue in the air. Stick out your tongue everywhere. Stick out your tongue in the air, in the air. <laughs> Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Pull on your ear in the air. Pull on your ear everywhere. Pull on your ear in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Blink your eye in the air. Blink your eye everywhere. Blink your eye in the air, in the air. Okay. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it a little faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right unto your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Let's see if we can do it even faster. Are you ready? Okay. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right unto your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. I have my dress on and my apron. And I'm going to come closer so you can see my tummy. We're going to talk about all the parts of our face, our noses and our ears and eyes and hair. I know no lady who swallowed a nose. She watered it down with a garden hose. And that's how it goes. I know no lady who swallowed some ears. She had no fears when she swallowed those ears. She swallowed the ears if she swallowed the nose. And that's how it goes. I know no lady who swallowed some eyes. What a surprise she swallowed those eyes. She swallowed the eyes if she swallowed the ears. Swallowed the ears if she swallowed the nose. And that's how it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed some lips. She did it all with her hands on her hips. She swallowed the lips after she swallowed the eyes. Swallowed the eyes after she swallowed the ears. Swallowed the ears after she swallowed the nose. And that's how it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed some hair. She did despair when she swallowed her hair. She swallowed the hair after she swallowed some lips, swallowed some lips after she swallowed some eyes, swallowed some eyes after she swallowed some ears, swallowed some ears after she swallowed a nose, and that's how it goes. I know an old lady who swallowed a whole head. She went to bed after she swallowed the head, and that's how it goes. Burp. Well, I'm going to take off my apron and dress. And I'm going to read you a story. It's a story called Goggles 
by Ezra Jack Keats. And he also wrote maybe a familiar book called Snowy, The Snowy Day. Now, where do we see goggles? Well, I wear goggles when I go scuba diving, and um, sometimes if you go swimming, then you wear goggles. Um, also, people who ride motorcycles wear goggles. These are not goggles. These are glasses. Archie, look what I found, Peter shouted through the pipe. Motorcycle goggles. Archie watched Peter through the hole. He listened and smiled. There must be somewhere where you can find all kinds of junk and stuff that's been thrown away. I have a squeaky chair. Peter ran to the hideout and put on the goggles. Aren't they great, he asked. Archie smiled and nodded. Peter said, let's go over to your house and sit on the steps. Archie nodded. Aren't those goggles grand? They started off. Suddenly, some big boys appeared. Give us those goggles, kid. No, they're mine, Peter said. His dog, Willie, growled. Archie, hold Willie, said Peter. Oh, I have my finger on Willie. There he is. Willie's a little wiener dog. Peter stuffed the goggles into his pocket and put up his fists. Archie gasped. Peter turned to see if something was wrong. The next thing he knew, he was knocked to the ground. Everyone stared at the goggles. Before anyone could move, Willie snatched the goggles and ran through the hole in the fence. The big boys chased after him. Meet you at the hideout, whispered Peter. You go this way, I'll go that way. They won't know where we're going. Willie will find us. Peter raced to the hideout. He sank down as low as he could. Footsteps. The big boys, they followed me. Peter held his breath. Archie! Was that? Archie looked through the hole in the pipe. There were the big boys, and there was Willie. They could see him. See through that hole in the pipe? Do you see Willie over there? Archie stared at the pipe. Suddenly he spoke. Here, Willie, through the pipe, fast. Willie! What a smart dog. Peter peeked through the hole. The big boys were coming closer and closer. Peter took a deep breath. Then he yelled through the pipe. Willie, meet us at the parking lot. Head for the parking lot. One of the big boys yelled, let's go. But where is Willie? 
He's not in the parking lot. Peter, Archie, and Willie crept out of the hideout. When they reached the fence, they got up and ran. They were very clever, weren't they? They got to Archie's house. Archie laughed and said, We sure fooled them, didn't we? We sure did, said Peter, handing him the goggles. Things look real fine now, Archie said. They sure do. I have with me my five little leaves. One, two, three, four, and five. Five little leaves hanging on a tree the first one said, I am shaky as can be. The second one said, I think I'm losing grip. The third one said, that's cause we're going to slip. The fourth one said, this feeling is really galling. And the fifth one said, that's cause we're falling. So down they came and made a pile, a picture that would make you smile. Okay, so I wonder if you've seen um, scarecrows like in the farmer's field, kind of to keep the birds away from eating, eating their crops. Um, <clears throat> and so this is a happy, happy scarecrow. I am a happy scarecrow stuffed to my eyes with straw. I'm supposed to scare the birds and animals. That just seems to be the law. I wave my head, legs, and arms to cause animals such alarms. Sadly, sadly, excuse me, they seem to like me. I think that's my flaw. Way up high in the apple tree, five little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Mm-hmm, good. Way up high in the apple tree, four little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Mm-hmm, good. Way up high in the apple tree, three little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Mmm, good. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Mmm, good. Way up high in the apple tree, one little apple smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came one apple. Mmm, -hmm, good. I'm going to have you help me sing this song. It's called The Leaves Are Turning Colors. And last week we did that this one. So hopefully some of it will help if you've seen it before. So, The Leaves Are Turning Colors is the title. And it's to the tune of the farmer in the dell. And the frame goes red, orange, yellow, brown. The leaves are turning colors. Then the leaves are twirling down. The leaves are being raked. And you can pretend to be raking. The leaves are in a pile. And you can make a pile. And then the best part, you can jump, jump, jump. We are jumping in. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> the leaves are turning colors. The leaves are turning colors. Red, orange, yellow, brown. The leaves are turning colors. Now they're twirling down. 
The leaves are twirling down, the leaves are twirling down. Red, orange, yellow, brown, the leaves are twirling down. Being raked, get your rakes ready. The leaves are being raked, the leaves are being raked. Red, orange, yellow, brown, the leaves are being raked. Now the leaves are in a pile, the leaves are in a pile, the leaves are in a pile. Red, orange, yellow, brown, the leaves are in a pile. Now you get to jump in. Jump, jump, jump. We are jumping in. We are jumping in. Red, orange, yellow, brown, we are jumping in. Okay, you can stop jumping because we're going to act out Mrs. Wishy Washy. And for those of you who have not done this before, this is Mrs. Wishy Washy. And so we're going to act her out. So when she comes along, we put our hands on her hips. Or we put our hand to our brow. Oh. Or we point. Now, there is a cow in, in the book. And the cow jumps in the mud. So you can jump in the mud. The pig rolls in the mud. And the duck paddles in the mud. And the best part of all is when they get washed because we go wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Okay, maybe some of you don't know that, um, but the old uh, washing machines went this way. I, I, the other ones go around now, I think, the ones, new ones. But anyway, this is Mrs. Wishy-Washy by Joy Cowley. Oh, lovely mud, said the cow. And she jumped in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the pig. And he rolled in it. Oh, lovely mud, said the duck. And she paddled in it. Okay, let's get ready to be Mrs. Wishy-Washy, hands on hips. Along came Mrs. Wishy-Washy and our hand to her brow. Ah, oh, just look at you, she screamed. Now she's going to point because she wants them all to go into the tub. In the tub you go. In went the cow, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the pig, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. In went the duck, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Hands on her hips, Mrs. Wishy-washy is back. That's better, said Mrs. Wishy-washy, and she went into the house. Away went the cow, away went the pig, away went the duck. Now, you can say this loudly, unless there's a baby sleeping in the house or an adult that has to sleep during the day. Oh, lovely mud, they said. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out, out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Well, I have with me a spider and I'd like you to meet him. But you know, there's a problem. He's kind of shy. So we kind of have to make him feel wanted, you know, to, to invite him to come out. Because he's so shy, he won't come out. Messy little guy, isn't he? Legs all over the place that he shouldn't be. Okay. Let's, on the count of three, say, Oh, spider, come out. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. 
He's not coming out. I wonder how we can get him to come out. I know. Let's say it louder. Maybe he didn't hear us, okay? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. He's not coming out. I, I, I wonder what's gonna make him come out. Kind of like a turtle. I know, we were loud, maybe we were too loud. Let's whisper it this time, okay? On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. Oh, there he is, there he is. Very happy to be out. Okay, I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web, spinning my web. Okay, repeat after me. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over. See you next week, see you next week. Wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye. Thank you.